Hello all, Terhi here. I'm again playing with August hip kits even though it's September, but I wanted to show you this layout as I really like it. Um, I was so inspired by this paper from Willow Lane collection from um, Great Paper Maggie Holmes. Um, this was all uh, included to August hip kits. Um, I got the paper to these little pieces and I wanted to repeat the similar pattern that is on top of the pattern paper but with the little spaces between these patterns and a bit differently that is in the pattern paper but as you see it's inspired by it but it's not like completely similar. Uh, I really love these patterns and I really like these colors so I wanted to use them and I wasn't sure if it's as good as would it would be this way or the way that I would make some kind of paper cluster and layer them together but I decided to go with this kind of design today. Um, the photograph is my younger daughter and our teeny tiny dog um, and they are really colorful <laughs> friends so this colorful layout will be really good to um, archive one of their memories one of our summer memories but as you can see these are so beautiful these patterns and colors that I could I could I could eat them. I could actually eat these beautiful patterns, but of course I will not. So I'm just going to find the perfect colors for the perfect points um, on this design. And and um, as you see, the photograph is a bit green-ish, so I want to add some more green and blue to the beautiful. Um, design I'm going to have on the background and once I'm finished I will just use some double-sided tape to adhere all, all of these little pieces um, on top to the background. Um, usually I would go with 3D foam but today I felt so bold that I, I wanted to use just double-sided tape as well as on the paper layers too. So I'm just going to add a couple of beautiful layers and then cut it out and add it to the layout. There was lots and lots of beautiful um, embellishments in August hip kits. Of course in the embellishments kit but also in the main kit and in well all the kids so it was kind of hard to choose what to use there was this beautiful die cut elements um, some of these are a bit embossed so they are really cute and beautiful to use and then there was like cardstock stickers and there was puffy stickers and clear stickers and lots and lots of different embellishments so I was like overwhelmed to, <laughs> to decide that what I'm going to use but there were a couple of easy tricks which helped me to choose which to use um, for example this uh, round frame on top of the photograph is really thick it's like super thick as there's the pom-pom um, cloth or it's not cloth, it's like ribbon or something. Yeah, ribbon. So uh, it's really thick. And that's why I decided that I want to use these cardstock stickers because these are really thick as well. So I have two really thick elements now on the page and they will kind of calm each other down. And as my, my background is really flat, I didn't use any 3D foam creating this, so I'm going to add some behind the photographs to lift up these thin layers and then they will go better with the cardstock stickers and the bonbon frames. 
Uh, I will also add quite a lot of just white basic cotton thread because I really really want to add some kind of uh, dimension for the page and well something else so that's why I chose to use this I'm also thinking about the background that it needs to be something more something more <laughs> there and at this point I'm just going to focus on the embellishments and the last phase will be that I will um, add some colors to the background these wrap ones are beautiful I decided to add some of the white words to the darkest patterns like this blue and the black and the green and they will kind of balance the layout that it's not that that a sharp edge between the white background and the pattern paper pieces but I will skip this time all the die cut elements I will not use them as those are really flat for this layout um, I'm going to stay with the puffy stickers and all the ones with even some dimension and like said it's all about the balance and that's why I decided to use these flats and also the little more fat ones but here I have the wrap-ons now and the pom-pom frames and it looks like quite good for me um, I decided to take this little piece of one of the die cut elements just to add it here but I will adhere it with 3d foam to make sure it will pop up more and as we had this beautiful butterfly paper in the August hip kits I couldn't resist cutting some butterflies I know it's kind of repeating myself adding butterflies every layout but can't help it I'm addicted badly so that's why I want to use these the hearts I uh, picked up just a minute ago were from Amy Tangerine and they are also included to August Hip Kits and as I chose this uh, black striped heart I decided that I will add some more black to this layout to again balance it up so these clear stickers saying good times or good vibes and happy happy joy joy this will be the perfect addition to the layout um, and I'm going to add them here and there also there's some well really less but um, there's some black or dark blue here in this butterfly and I think it's beautiful too it will also kind of balance up this whole thing so it's always fun to fuzzy cut these butterflies and use them up I really like them great paper has have a lot of beautiful butterflies since forever so I really like them in each collection they have some butterflies so that's why I'm a fan big fan yeah but anyway um, I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to adhere that with 3d foam and before that I'm going to just draw a little lines going around the butterfly um, I'm going to use this uh, it's kind of thin marker but it's kind of wet one which I like so it's really easy to use with this you can also use like um, wet ink or any ink any stamping ink black ink whatever but this is really neat and quick way to add some some black to the edges but I said going to use some 3d foam to adhere this and I feel like I'm really close to the finishing touches just adding some glue to adhere the heart and same glue to the frame and that's it uh, once these 
glues are completely dry I'm going to add some watercolors here and there but not that much just some to balance it all up all about the balance so super simple layout to do with, um, with the fat <laughs> fat embellishments and really flat papers uh, this mist was actually in August color kit and I would prefer watercolors with this kind of thing but as this uh, color of this mist is like perfect I couldn't resist using it so it's really beautiful but what I'm doing now is that I want to add something here and there we have maybe some enamel dots but there was also these beautiful small stickers um, these are flats <laughs> again but there was also some puffy stickers also this small so all of them would be good and they are the same color scheme from the same collection so they are definitely going to match no need to think about that or worry about that but that's it nothing more i hope you are inspired and you enjoyed watching the video and watching me creating and talking about flat and fat which are going to mix up sometimes in my mouth mouth but yeah anyway thank you for watching and i hope we will see you again soon like next week or the week after but anyway thank you for watching and bye